So today we're going to be using the stud playing cards. Basically, I'm going to try to show you the difference between a card mechanic and a magician. So the card mechanic usually goes through the deck one by one to find whatever cards they want. In this case, we want the four kings. We're going to get them one by one. So that's one. Um, let's go for the second one now. Third one should be just right here, and the fourth one should be right about there. Perfect. Now, as you notice, for uh, a magician, it's very easy just to not go through the deck but just snap their fingers and basically find all the four aces just. That is and was MVP. What's up everybody? Hope all are doing well. Hope you're staying safe. Hope you're staying sanitized. Um, so how was the clip I just showed you? Was it cool? Hope you enjoyed it. Um, that was basically me trying to give you know a sense of what I created on my own. I am kind of a mix between using the close-up pad, showing the cool productions and, you know, shuffling the cards. And then there's also that magician side of me where, you know, why not just, instead of fiddling and shuffling all the, doing all those kinds of flourishes and stuff, why not just take any cards and change them into, you know, any cards you know, wanted. So that being said, there's basically three steps I like to follow that show, um, you know, try to dive into yourself in terms of magic and find out what your dislikes are and your likes are. So step one being that, um, you know, there's no, there's no rules. Step one is that there are no rules and there's a lot of branches of magic and I hope you just um, embrace all those sides of you and you don't have to be uh, just um, basically just a card mechanic or just a close-up magician or a stage magician you might like you know put stage magic more than close-up or you like you might like uh, close-up more than stage so vice versa however you want to put it is however um, you take your magic anyway if that made any sense anyway um, step two would be to know your strengths and know your weaknesses basically what are you good at besides magic try to put those two together is it storytelling is it I don't know, just anything, video editing, try to throw that throw that in there, be good at uh, photography, do some type of photography magic, or, you know, just do or video magic, you know, anything, and uh, know your strengths and weaknesses, so yeah, that's basically all I have to say. Now, step three is to just basically combine those strengths. I know this is kind of different, but it, it's, it's hard to polish something very well could throw something together and it not be good meaning that you know have, know what spices to throw on there what uh, uh, ingredients you need to make whatever routine or trick you're trying to make very fun and cohesive and uh, yeah um, mix them together try to make something work uh, get advice from maybe friends family uh, someone you look up to a verified uh, opinion maybe like you know try reaching out to some of your favorite card mechanics. Shout out Jeremy Griffin. Uh, Griffith. Griffin. I'm sorry, I don't know how to pronounce your name. Um, um, shout out to Daniel Madison. Get advice from some of your favorite magicians. Um, you know, I don't know. If you could, if you're willing to reach that far, go out to Austin Wayne. Maybe I don't know. Just shoot for the stars. Shoot for the moon. You'll land amongst the stars. Anyways, um, that's all for me quick little video um hope you enjoyed this was mars and i'm out